corn dogs, the classic deep fried American treat. Except that's not what I'm making. Instead, we're gonna do a more grown up version of it. A beer battered hot dog with beer cheese sauce. Let's begin. Also, Munchies, you forgot to color grade your video. <sighs> Allow me. Ah, uh, much better. Begin. Now to begin, you'll need hot dogs. But I want to take things to the next level. I'm going to use jumbo size hot dogs. Of course, we're going to have to pale these on something, and preferably, I recommend you use disposable wooden chopsticks. Unfortunately, I couldn't seem to find any, even though I do clearly remember getting some from the grocery store. If you don't have any, two wooden skewers should do the trick. So, we'll just uh, take our skewers and uh, shove them up until they're halfway up the dog. Ah, you're my favorite. I shall call you Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, no, not that Jeremy. Um, never mind. I'm going to get age restricted if I explain the joke. Okay, with the dogs impaled, it's... Uh, no, that's too depressing. Hold up. With the dogs ready to go... Yeah, that's better. Let's get to the next phase of our dish. The beer batter. So I'm using a beer mug. A Simpsons beer mug, as you see. Do. So why am I using this instead of a bowl? Because it's easier to dip our hot dogs and get them coated with batter. And listen, unless your bowl is super freaking huge, it's going to be impossible to get your hot dog dipped in it. So, to our cup, let's add two cups of cake flour. We're going with cake flour because it's low in gluten and it provides the batter a nice airy crunch once it's fried. Okay, let's toss in a few spices here. A teaspoon and a half of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And lastly, two cups of cold beer. And yes, it has to be cold because just like actual beer, if we leave it out too long, it'll get flat. And for a bigger batter, we need all the bubbles we can. You might have to mix in the flour and beer together, that's fine. You want a consistency that's uh, slightly thinner than pancake batter. What to do with this leftover beer? All right, next stop, the stove. So here's something interesting about the beer cheese sauce I teased earlier. Turns out I already made a video on it a couple years ago. I guess it underperformed so poorly I forgot I even made it. So if you want to make it, pause the video and uh, click the link right here. Well, I'm waiting, do it. Okay, now you know how to make the beer cheese sauce. Now, back to the dogs. I have here a paper towel lined baking sheet with a cooling rack and a Dutch oven fryer set to 375 degrees. Trying to cope with that major heat wave in your unair conditioned flat, the number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. Now, let's grab our mug and our dog Jeremy. Hammond, you idiot! You reversed into the sports lorry! Again, wrong Jeremy, but whatever. Dunk them into our batter, swirl it around, and place them into our fryer. Cook until golden brown and delicious. And... All right, and once it's golden brown and delicious, take it out and put it on our cooling line baking tray. All right, now that Jeremy's done resting. In the plums. Again, wrong Jeremy. He's ready to dip in our cheese sauce and eat. And only one thing can go good with this. Beer. Come on, you should have seen this coming. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Okay, the actual Jeremy I was referring to was Ron Jeremy, because he had a giant D 